High fives were fitting for Belton High School's top 5% in academics. 98 sophomores, juniors, and seniors were recognized for this achievement at the annual Academic Awards Banquet held at the Bell County Expo Center. The tradition of honoring these students started in 1985, and Belton High School principal, Chris Dubois, says it's one of his favorite events to experience. It's a, a very special evening. The families really enjoy it, and the kids really, uh, it's competitive. They, 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 they look at that uh, banquet opportunity as a motivator to do well. They look for it all year long. There are several kids that have been recognized all three years. In the two years that I've participated in the ceremony, uh, I'd say at least half of the recognees have had multiple years of recognition. Senior Rush Lee has achieved the top 5% throughout his years in high school and plans to keep moving his education forward after graduation. Go to a four-year university, then get a master's degree, and then possibly a PhD in, in mechanical engineering. Junior Cami Moore is in her second year of being in the top 5%. Um, I'd like to go to college, a uh, four-year college, and I'd like to get as much scholarship as possible and um, I'm taking AP classes to get a lot of course credit out of the way. And I think after college, I'd like to go into law school. Sophomore Lauren Smith is excited to have joined her classmates for this honor and says she will strive to stay in the top 5% through graduation. It's um, really gratifying. Um, it's like being thanked for all your hard work. Um, it's nice to know that they do think of us and they not just you know, oh, they're doing good, but they actually present to us that we're excelling. But these students aren't excelling in academics alone. Most of these kids that we see tonight are not strictly academians. Uh, they get involved in extracurricular activities or programming like uh, through CTE or service clubs and those kind of things. Very involved students. I do ultimate frisbee with a uh, club. We go, we won state two years ago and second in state three years ago. I film for the football games for Mr. Fitzwater and Coach Bell. Let's see, I play drums for church and I work in the summers. I do basketball. Um, I'm vice president of the junior class and student council. Um, I'm an NHS. I also do student to student. I have a job outside of school um, and I'm in aerobics and veterinary medicine. I was in agriculture last year so I could be in vet med this year because I want to be a veterinarian and it's my passion. The award banquet began with a dinner and performance by the Belton High School Madrigal. Before introducing the guest speaker, Belton ISD Superintendent Dr. Susan Kincannon spoke about how practice and preparation are critical attributes to success. Kincannon then added it also helps to have opportunities. Well, I hope that at Belton High School, my hope for you as our students and families is that we are providing you some opportunities that you may not get anywhere else in your life, that our teachers are the best for your kids and we are making a difference for you. Successful people also, um, not only do they have some opportunities, but they come from really good backgrounds. Well, your parents matter, students, and what you have at home and the support that you get makes a difference to you and how successful you are in life. So thank you to our parents. The guest speaker was Manuel Alcozer, a local attorney and 1980 graduate of Belton High School. Alcozer talked about obstacles in his life that he overcame as a Belton student and family man. In 1999, Alcozer was diagnosed and successfully treated for testicular cancer by a well-renowned doctor. Dr. Einhorn gets, gets up, he's about to walk out of his office, and something comes to my head, and I said, Dr. Einhorn, he turns around and looks at me, he said, yes, sir, I think he was anticipating that I was going to ask him another, another question, because, you know, as lawyers, you, you ask a ton of questions, sometimes they're irrelevant, but he turned around and looked at me and said, uh, yes, sir, and I said, Dr. Einhorn, I don't have a question, I just I want to say something to you. I said, thank God for people like you. I want to say to you students that thank God for young people like you. You are, whether you realize it today, you might realize it a year from now, you might realize it tomorrow. You, you young people are the innovators of tomorrow. You are the entrepreneurs of tomorrow, the professionals of tomorrow, the medical doctors of tomorrow, and perhaps 
the next Dr. Einhorn. Alcozer also spoke about growing up in Belton with his stepfather and grandmother, neither of which could read or write and spoke very little English. Alcozer shared that education helped him break the cycle of illiteracy in his household and attributed to him becoming the successful man he is today. I've just given you a small snapshot of my life. I have no regrets. And when I say to you that it's the, it's the best thing that ever happened to me, I truly mean that. Um, I, I love this community. I love what it's, what it's done for me. I love what it's done for my, for my family. Um, and I want you to think about this. If I can, if I can, I know you can, okay? If I can, I know that you can. And remember, always, always, always have a plan. And plan A might not work. You might have to go to plan B, and sometimes it takes plan C, okay? Because you know what? Life's gonna happen. We can't prevent life from happening, okay? But when life does happen, you just gotta, you just gotta keep on keeping on. Al Kozer also spoke about several teachers and coaches that inspired and mentored him, and how great it was that seniors could recognize someone who inspired them at the banquet. That's one of my favorite parts. Um, we mentioned this in our faculty meeting last week. Uh, our teachers aspire to be someday chosen as a tribute teacher by graduating seniors. So seniors who are being recognized tonight for their achievement academically also got to invite a um, tribute teacher, someone who thought who they thought made a uh, strong impact on them or supported them in their success here at Dalton High School. And uh, that's quite an honor as a teacher. And so uh, it, it tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. Lee invited Jackie Snow. Oh, I brought Mrs. Snow. She was my sophomore um, AP biology teacher. She really influenced me. She's kind of a family friend. Some, a lot of my family knows her, but um, she really taught me like how to learn and have fun at the same time. It was the most enjoy, enjoyment I've had in a class so far. Even though Moore is a junior and Smith is a sophomore, they shared who they would have brought to the banquet if they were seniors. Um, I would bring Coach Ernest. She was one of my middle school coaches and we're just really close. She's hilarious and just really fun to be around and she's always just, you know, told me to do my best and just pushed me to be the best person I can be. I think Mrs. Green, she was a pre-AP biology teacher. She's the best teacher I've ever had. Just her teaching techniques and um, the way she presented the information was amazing. Also recognized at the banquet was Jasmine Ping, this year's National Merit semifinalist, along with six commended scholars in the National Merit Program. Lots of schools have strong academics, lots of schools um, have strong extracurriculars, but this is a Big Red community and this community celebrates our successes in ways that you don't see everywhere. And uh, the Academic Banquet at Belton High School, a 30-year tradition that uh, is unparalleled. It's a very special event. An event that these students will remember for a lifetime.